This is the Metro Home Theater Group Fiber Tools and Introduction Video and How to Terminate. The available tools include a fiber cleaver that has the instructions and the calibration tools included, the SC to LC adapters as well, Kevlar scissors, a visual fault locator, fiber strippers with calibration tool, a pack of SC connectors, and a pack of LC connectors. The calibration tool for the fiber strippers is used to adjust the opening for the strippers using this set screw. Simply insert the calibration tool and turn the set screw to the desired diameter. Included with the fiber cleaver is a blue adjustable fiber guide. In order to use this guide, you will first need to use a precision Phillips head screwdriver to remove the black guide that is shipped with the fiber cleaver. Remove this screw. Then remove the guide. The blue guide is not mounted to the fiber cleaver and is instead used freely in order to have the correct lengths necessary for cleaving. Now take the black guide and place it inside the blue case for future use. Included with the cleaver is a mounted waste bin for any excess fiber trimmings. Today, we will be terminating one side of a duplex fiber cable. To begin, we will peel the duplex fiber pieces apart and then take our LC connector and unscrew the boot and slide the boot over the outer jacket of the fiber. Now, using the packaging for the LC connector, Lay the fiber out over the diagram and using a felt tip marker, mark where the outer jacket needs to be removed. Take the fiber strippers and use the outermost opening, strip off the outer jacket. As a tip, close the strippers on the jacket once, then open, twisting the cable 90 degrees and repeat. You should be able to remove the jacket with your hand. Take the Kevlar strands and pull them aside out of the way. Again, lay the fiber out on the diagram and mark where the inner shielding needs to be removed, in this case at the 10 millimeter mark. Using the second opening on the fiber strippers, remove the inner shielding. Only remove small sections at a time as the fiber can break if trying to remove too much at once. All that remains is the inner cladding. Now, using the third opening on the fiber strippers, remove any of the remaining cladding. Wipe off any remaining cladding to prepare for cleaving. The blue fiber cleaving guide has a sliding portion and a locking mechanism. There are measurements on the bottom which are not used for this instruction guide. We will, however, use the measurements along the top. Using the diagram for the last measurement, we will now take our fiber and place it in the guide. Using the sliding mechanism, align the inner shielding with the correct measurement, in this case, the 11 millimeter mark. And make sure the lock is set. While holding the fiber in the guide, place it all within the fiber cleaver. The guide should rest neatly within the opening. Make sure your waste bin is open then close the lid and slide the silver handle back until it clicks. Open the cleaver and ensure that any excess fiber makes it to the waste bin. The SC to LC adapter is used next to ensure that a proper termination has been set. Prepare the SC and LC adapter with the included sleeve by sliding the sleeve over the white portion of the LC connector.
The visual fault locator has a dust cap to protect the end and a switch to turn it on, off, or blink. Take the dust cap off the SC end of the adapter and connect it to the visual fault locator. Next, take your LC termination and remove the dust cap. Slide the sleeve over the white portion of the LC termination. Turn on the VFL and take the fiber and feed it into the end of the LC connector. Watch for the light to dim or disappear entirely. Once it has, push the metal retaining clip in on the side of the LC connector and pull out the plastic key on the other side. Ensure that the Kevlar strands are pulled to the side and begin to screw the boot onto the connector. A tip, only screw the boot on a short amount, then use the Kevlar scissors to trim the excess Kevlar. And finally, finish screwing the boot on the rest of the way to get a clean finish. And now we are finished with the LC connector. Terminating an SC connector is very similar to the LC connector. First, remove the boot from the connector and slide it over the fiber. Then, lay the fiber over the diagram on the connector packaging and mark with a felt tip marker where the outer jacket should be removed. Strip the outer jacket off of the fiber using the first opening on the fiber strippers. Move the Kevlar strands out of the way. Then, using the diagram again, mark where the inner shielding should be removed, in this case, 15 millimeters. Using the second opening on the strippers, remove the inner shielding Remember to only remove a small portion at a time or the fiber could break if removing all at once. Finally, using the third opening on the strippers, remove the last of the cladding. Now, Wipe off any remaining cladding and check the final measurements against the diagram. Take the blue fiber guide and using the sliding mechanism, line the inner shielding up with the desired measurement, in this case, 17 millimeters. Holding the guide and the fiber together, place the guide into the cleaver. Ensure the waste bin is open. Close the cleaver and press the silver slide to cleave. Make sure that any excess fiber goes into the bin. Remove the outer housing and dust cap from the SC connector and connect it directly to the visual fault locator. Take the fiber and slide it into the opening, watching for the light to dim or go out. Once the light dims or goes out, lock the fiber in place with the light window. Ensure a portion of the outer jacket fits into the connector sleeve to give strain relief. Remove the connector from the VFL, then screw on the boot partially and using the Kevlar scissors, cut the excess Kevlar.
and finally, screw the boot on entirely. Replace the outer housing fully until it clicks. 